In this video, I'll share my latest predictions for the 2024 electoral map for all 50 states. Without further ado, let's take a look at the map. According to Real Clear Politics, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are both tied at 45.5%. With this close race, battleground states are now more important than they've ever been. Let me break down the detailed specifics. First, I'm going to identify the solid states firmly in Biden or Trump's camp with margins of 12 points or more. Biden, being the current president, has a secure hold in Oregon, Washington, California, Vermont, New York, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, totaling 147 electoral votes. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with more political content. With the election still a few months away, anything can happen. I'll make sure to keep you informed. In contrast to that and the other side, we have the former President Donald Trump. He's expected to secure his victories in the following states. Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, excluding the 2nd District, Kansas, 1st and 3rd Districts, Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, South Carolina, West Virginia, Maine 2nd District, and Alaska. Now, this would give Trump a total of 132 electoral votes. With that being said, next up, I'm going to highlight the states that are most likely to support the incumbent president, though not as solid as the previous ones named. These states have projected margins between 5 and 12 percentage points. As of right now, the incumbent president is expected to win in New Mexico, Colorado, Illinois, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Maine's first congressional district. One state in particular, Colorado, has a 6.5 point lead in the RCP polling, indicating Biden's quick, likely victory and its 10 total electoral votes. Despite historically leaning red since statehood in 1876, Colorado has consistently voted blue ever since 2008. And as of the moment, Biden's current lead is suggesting that it will likely remain within the Democratic camp. Moving on, let's examine New Mexico which is offering five electoral votes. Now, according to the public policy polling survey from last August, Biden is leading over Trump by eight points. Even though Biden had a double-digit win here in New Mexico back in 2020, the margins might narrow down this time. I'd say that it's important to notice that New Mexico is the only state with a Hispanic residence majority. And with the Hispanics voters increasingly leaning right, the Republicans could potentially see some improved performance. Back in 2020, Trump lost New Mexico by 10%. However, as of right now, he's trailing behind within eight points. Next on our list, Illinois. Having leaned blue in the last eight elections, aided Biden's victory by a staggering 17% in 2020. With that being said, it's very likely that Illinois' 19 total electoral votes will go towards Biden based on the recent historical trends. However, the gap that's between Trump and Biden has narrowed down with Emerson College polls showing Biden up by nine points. I would say Illinois is expected to keep staying blue, but the smaller margin could make it more competitive and maybe make them flip. New Hampshire, although reliably blue with the presidential races, frequently elects Republican senators and governors. This trend may not significantly impact the presidential vote, but it's still noteworthy. In New Jersey, recent polls show Biden with a seven-point lead. However, keep in mind that the bribery scandal involving Bob Menendez could potentially affect the Democratic chances. While Biden is still expected to win here, the race might be closer than before. Let's move on to a state that has somewhat unique electoral votes. Maine. Very similar to Nebraska's system, Maine has two districts that are able to award their votes independently, as well as two statewide votes for the popular vote winner. Biden managed to win Maine overall back in 2020. Currently, according to Pan Atlantic Research, Biden leads Maine's first congressional district by eight points. Despite this, he's facing challenges within the second congressional district. Despite this, I'd say that Biden is very likely to secure at least one electoral vote from Maine granting him a total of 200 electoral votes. 
All right, now I'll break down the states where Trump is heavily expected to win. Texas, Florida, and Ohio. Starting with Texas, which is the second largest state with 40 total electoral votes. According to RCP polling data, Texas currently shows Trump leading by 8.8%. If we go back in 2020, Trump managed to win Texas by mere 5.6 points, which was the narrowest Republican victory there ever since 1996. However, despite this, Republicans have generally outperformed the Democrats by give or take 10 points since 2012. Additionally, Trump and the Republicans have gained significant support among the Hispanic voters residing in Texas, especially in the Rio Grande Valley. This has, of course, dampened Democratic hopes of turning Texas blue in the near future. Moving on, Ohio also seems to be leaning towards Trump. A recent RCP poll showed him being ahead by 10 points. Even though Ohio has historically voted blue before, Barack Obama won in 2008 and 2012. Biden was yet unable to do so in 2020. With Trump's current lead, I would say that it's likely that Ohio's 17 electoral votes will go towards him. Lastly, Florida. With its staggering 30 total electoral votes, it's actually less contested this time around. The latest RCP poll shows us that Trump is leading ahead by 9.5 points. Of course, given the significant lead, I would firmly say that Florida's electoral votes are making their way to go towards Trump. Now with these states included, Trump's total rise up to 219 electoral votes, an increase of 87 votes. I will now continue to highlight the states that are leaning towards the incumbent president, Joe Biden, with margins of 1 to 5 percent points. First off, Virginia. Offering 13 electoral votes remains as a critical and necessary battleground to keep eyes on. The gap between the candidates is much thinner than they were back in 2020. Biden is currently leading over Trump by 4.3 points, according to the RCP. This would mark a 5.7 decrease from the previous election, which I view as a potential shift in voter sentiment. Virginia's status as a battleground identifies their actual importance. Now that significant electoral votes are on the stakes, Virginia could actually play a very decisive role in determining the election outcome for either of our candidates. Right now, Minnesota has one of the most enduring blue streaks in the entire nation, falling slightly behind Washington, D.C. According to the latest RCP polls, Joe Biden holds a narrow lead over Trump by just 2.3 points. This small margin could shift if Trump can appeal to the 20% of voters expected to support a third-party candidate. Minnesota has a strong Democratic history, so one might anticipate a larger lead for Biden. Although Biden is favored to win Minnesota, there's a speculation that Trump could challenge this blue stronghold. Therefore, while Minnesota leans towards Biden, Trump still has an opportunity to influence the voters. The Nebraska 2nd Congressional District stands out as an intriguing anomaly within the predominantly red-leaning state. The district witnessed a significant surge in support for Biden, very likely for the 2020 election when it voted blue, which was unlike the rest of Nebraska and its two other districts. Although there are no current polls available for Nebraska's 2nd District, considering its voting pattern in the previous election between Trump and Biden, I'd say it's reasonable to anticipate that one electoral vote will lean towards the current president. Now, with those 22 votes added to Biden's total, it brings him to 224 electoral votes at this junction. Moving on, it is necessary to keep an eye out for several states leaning towards Trump as they could heavily impact the election projections. Since there's no guarantees that these states will remain red until Election Day, it is crucial to closely monitor them leading up to the big day. Now, that being said, let's explore some battleground highlights, with the first one being on my list, Nevada. Despite Nevada's tendency to vote for blue, it is still not considered a safe state for Biden due to its highly diverse voter base, many of whom lean towards the red. As of now, Trump leads in the state, according to RCP polls, with a 3.2-point margin over the incumbent president, averaging 47.5% of the vote compared to Biden's 44.3%.
I'd say that Nevada's electoral behavior is entertaining to say the least, as it typically aligns with the winning presidential candidate, except for the 1976 and 2016 elections. That being said, I think Nevada is a state to closely monitor, with its current lean towards red is already being notable. Arizona also needs some attention. Right now, Trump maintains a 4.5-point lead according to RCP polling. He previously won Arizona back in the 2016 election when he surprised Hillary Clinton by a margin of 4.1%. However, the state's voting tendency shifted in the 2020 election, which resulted in a close race where Joe Biden barely won by merely 0.3% of the vote. Despite Arizona's consistent red voting history in presidential elections, with 2020 being a significant minor exception, I wouldn't be surprised if Arizona flipped again. As of the moment, Arizona is leaning towards the Trump camp, but a flip towards the end wouldn't be too shocking. Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, is pivotal. Trump currently leads Biden by 3.8 points in RCP polling, a contrast to Biden's narrow 2020 win. Historically, Republican since 1996, but Biden's 2020 victory was an exception. Recent polls favor Trump, indicating a probable red victory unless Biden can sway voters again. Now let's turn our attention to North Carolina, a state similar to Florida in many ways. While the 2020 race was extremely close, the upcoming 2024 election might not be as tight. Recent RCP polling shows Trump leading by four points. However, North Carolina remains highly competitive and could potentially switch sides, considering its voting behavior in 2020. Trump won North Carolina by nearly one and a half points in the last election, indicating a possibility of a similar outcome in 2024. Although it currently leans red, like other states, a last-minute flip wouldn't be surprising. Looking at Michigan, RCP averages show Trump leading by 2.8%. Biden won here in 2020, despite current favorability towards Trump. Some demographics show declining support, possibly affecting the outcome closer to Election Day. Although Michigan historically leans blue, Trump currently leads. It's projected that these 15 electoral votes will go to Trump. According to Pan-Atlantic research polls, Maine has shifted its support to Trump who leads by six points. Despite Biden's previous win, Maine's second congressional district now leans red, impacting the statewide vote. As it stands, I anticipate Maine's two statewide electoral votes will go to Trump, adding 29 points to his total, bringing him to 285 electoral votes. Turning our attention to crucial states pivotal for Biden's team, Pennsylvania stands out with 19 electoral votes. In the last election, Pennsylvania favored Biden. Currently, the president holds a slim 0.1% lead over Donald Trump, as per RCP data. Pennsylvania has typically leaned blue in electoral history, aside from Trump's 2016 win. Though outcomes may vary, current data suggests a potential Biden victory. Wisconsin with its 10 electoral votes at stake, demands attention. Given the close margin in the last presidential race, it could once again be hotly contested. Surprisingly, Trump leads by a slim 0.6% per RCP averages, despite being the only Republican presidential candidate to secure Wisconsin's vote since Ronald Reagan in 1984. Despite Wisconsin's blue vote in 2020, recent years have shown a shift towards red indicating a strong potential tilt towards the Trump camp. In conclusion, it appears that Donald Trump's 295 electoral votes are poised to secure him his victory in the Electoral College, surpassing Joe Biden's 243. However, it's essential to acknowledge that there are still approximately five to six months until the election. Anything can happen, including scandals or foreign political disturbances, which have historically influenced voting outcomes. That being said, while states could still sway, Trump currently holds the advantage. Let me know your thoughts.